heroes. They made history. We waited 56 years. Lionesses brought us victory. Twinkle Toes of Beth Mead, Leah leading with pride. Chloe Kelly secured the win. Sweet Serena sung far and wide. Let girls play. They inspired me. On to the next one, the World Cup dream. Long, dramatic pause on that because the draw for next summer's Women's World Cup is complete. We now know who European champions England and the Republic Ireland will face at next year's tournament. Well, kind of. Because England, the European champions, are in a group with Denmark, China and the winner of an intercontinental playoff between Chile, Haiti and Senegal. So those games will take place in February, just five months before the tournament kicks off. So England start against the playoff winners against Brisbane, July 22nd. Then it's to Sydney to take on Denmark before a long trip to Adelaide to play Asia Cup champions China. Well, obviously, you've got to look out for the, for, for the USA. You've got to look out for us, Germany, France. Um, you know, you, you, have to, you have to look at all those teams. Um, you know, everybody coming to the World Cup being so special, you know, you raise your game. So, you know what I mean? There's a couple of those protagonists, you can't, you can't ever write off someone like Japan, China, all of those teams. Everybody, it depends on how they turn up, how they feel, how excited they are about it, what form they're in. Should be great. I think we've got, um, a, very, we've got a very good group of ladies. We've shown that. Um, we've got a, a world-class manager in Serena. We've proven that we can compete with the best and beat the best. You know, even beating them in the USA the other day. And we, we, we're going into this World Cup um, with a lot of confidence. So you're hoping, <clears throat> excuse me, you're, you're hoping that we can take the form that we had in the Euros um, into, into the World Cup. Well, what about Republic of Ireland? They've got some fascinating games at their first major tournament. They're in with tournament hosts Australia, Olympic champions Canada, and the highest ranked team from a pop four, Nigeria. So here's when their games will take place. Republic of Ireland kick off on the opening day, the second game of the tournament against Australia in Sydney. Then it's a whopping two and a half thousand mile trip to Perth for their match against Canada, the world number seventh ranked team before finishing off against Nigeria in Brisbane. Like I said, some fascinating games there. But another fascinating game is Tottenham taking on Manchester City this morning in the WSL. But ahead of that, Caroline Barker and studio guests Kelly Smith and Fern Whelan have been discussing the draw. We now know then who England will face at the World Cup. Well, sort of, barring a, a playoff to Kelly Smith, Fern Whelan. Kelly, it could have been much tougher for England, couldn't it? Yeah, it could have been, but you look at... Uh, China, ranked 15th, Denmark, 18th. We saw them in the Euros this summer. Penilla Harda, Seveke from Everton. So they've got some good players. But it's definitely a group that England will be thinking they can get out of quite easily. Yeah, and then looking off the back of that, obviously, the route to potentially the final. Mm. So Australia, a potential come up against them, you know, the host. Um, and then Canada, obviously, the Olympic champions. So potentially the, the, the route to the final can be a little bit tougher if they do get out with that group. Yeah, small matter of Germany, France, <laughs> Brazil in there too. We saw Serena Wiegmann was actually there at the draw as well. Will she look at this group and think, OK, now we're building and going further, even though she likes to say just one game at a time? Yeah, well, obviously, the Euro champions, full of confidence, um, beat the USA, number one team of the world. Why wouldn't you have confidence going into this World Cup? And t England are a team that other nations are going to fear because of the, the way that they performed in the Euros this summer. So I think, yeah, the, the group, Serena's probably licking her lips a little bit, thinking, yes, we're top that group. But, like, if, if Australia top their group, there potentially could be a clash there. But I don't really think England want to be playing Australia in Australia. You saw how, how the home advantage for England really helped them. Mm. That potentially could help Australia 
on home soil. So maybe avoid them slightly. Maybe Australia don't win their group, so we miss them in the round of 16. <laughs> and then Germany as well. We'd like them not to win theirs potentially because we got that rerun of the. We know we can beat them, but don't the rerun do of the yourself. final again. <laughs> so do it you know, we're looking ahead, but I think you know Serena will look one game at a time, definitely. Uh, is it? Australia don't win their group because Ireland then win the group because that is a stinker of an opener for Ireland. Or at least you embrace it and say they're playing Australia, the host nation, in their opening match. I mean, there's definitely going to be a big buzz around the game, that's for sure. So they'll be embracing it, they'll be embracing the experience, they'll be embracing that they're part of the World Cup, they're going to be looking forward to it, but they... They have a tough t task ahead of them, don't they, with Nigeria in the group as well. So, But, but what a dream for Republic of Ireland with, with Katie McCabe, obviously the um, star name for them. It's a dream start for them. Their first ever World Cup and you get to play the home nations in pro probably front of, front of a sold-out crowd. I mean, I'm really pleased for Republic of Ireland. They've tried to qualify for so many years, like I did for England over 10 years try trying to qualify. And now they've finally done it. I'm really happy for them. Yeah, they're not going to be under any illusion. They know every game's going to be tough. They're just going to be loving the experience and mm. loving being out there, aren't they? I'm loving this. Months and months and months of build-up to come. The Lionesses will play all their group matches in <laughs> Australia. Can they make it all the way to that final? Here's hoping, Caroline. That sounds great, doesn't it? Well, it was a star-studded event down in Auckland with USA legend Carly Lloyd hosting. She took time to speak to us after the draw to reflect on the potential legacy of the tournament. <laughs> Well, I think, you know, having the World Cup here in, in, in this region, um, in Australia and New Zealand, you know, it's, it's only going to help continue to inspire. Um, I, I think that we're seeing this trend and this movement um, around the globe, you know, the support, the investment um, in the women's game, and, and it's really showing. You know, you have a team like Morocco, um, first time. World Cup and, and four other teams that, that are, are debuting. Um, they're investing, you know, and, and that's the most important thing. So it's only going to inspire the next generation of, of young girls, even boys. Um, and that's the incredible thing about it. You know, World Cups, they can bring people together, they can unite people. Um, the most important thing is, is we don't want to see this just die after the World Cup's over. So we want to continue to, to build and, and uh, you know, carry on this momentum. Carly Lloyd talking about the legacy there, but there are some massive fixtures in this group stage. The tournament kicks off with New Zealand against Norway. Norway obviously with a point to prove after leaving the Euros during the summer with their tail between their legs after their 8-0 thrashing by England. So that'll be a fascinating game opener. In Group E, you've got the, the, the a repeat of last time's final. You've got USA, the two-time back-to-back World champions, they're going to take on the Netherlands. So watch out for that one as well. And potentially, there's always a group of death, isn't there? So look out for Group F. You've got France, Jamaica and Brazil all in the same group. Brazil, Copa America champions, France. One of those teams that you never know what you're going to get. They're either going to be world beaters or potentially could go out in the group stage. Speaking to uh, some people from Germany, they're very, very happy with their draw. Germany got Morocco, Colombia and South Korea in their group. So they're by far the favourites to go through. And also another one to look out for is Spain. With all the, with all the doubts about, their, about them, they've got Costa Rica, Zambia and Japan. So some fascinating groups coming up. So keep a look out. We'll build up to all, all that on skysports.com as well.